You have selected shuffle. Welcome to the Shovel Pod. I'm Woody. Hey, hey, I'm George. And I'm DJ. And I'm sitting here <laughs> with a uh, a stint in my wiener. <laughs> I, I'm missing him. I'm telling you, dude. I'm. It's like I didn't realize how hard it was to do a podcast. Like if if you're missing a certain like members, you know what I mean. Once, yeah. Because all of our shit kind of flows together, and you know we have like kind of feed off each other and bounce stuff off and it's probably going to be better than anything we've ever done so <laughs> we don't I'm have just our, throwing our, that out our there. anchor holding us back <laughs> yeah i mean the boat anchor aka dj uh you know up there but no in all seriousness um he's having some problems with that that kidney stone man and i what do you know you know a little bit more about it uh they put a stint right yeah and um i, I what it was was he had uh, two stones lodged in his ureter, and so they, I thought that they put the stint in to kind of um, make the hole wider, you know, so that the stones could pass through, but that wasn't what it was. It was um, to actually push the stones back up into his kidneys, so it's, it's, it's from, I guess, uh, it, they went in, you know, through the penis, right in, through the bladder, and... To the right between the bladder and the kidney, and shove the the stones back in. So he's got to keep that in there for a couple more days yet. Well, and the one thing we never talked about is, I um, mean, he's he has an extreme uh, microphallus um, right disease, very small penis. It's like it looks like basically it's a child's penis head, pretty much. Right, and, and there's... I believe the technical term is a chode. Yes. He... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got just a small little boy's chode with a very small urethra. He has a hard time even passing urine. Um, yeah, yeah. It actually shoots out like if you ever, you know, had like a little 12-gauge needle and a syringe and, pss, you know, yeah. it's one of those things. Whereas like like real men actually pee and they make bubbles and everything. He doesn't, which right. I thought he told a real cute story of when he was a little boy, uh, his dad would take a like a a wooden ladle and mix the toilet bowl up water so he would actually make bubbles so he felt like a yeah <laughs> that's what he gets for not being here you know it, yeah or eating meat that's the problem that's what he gets for being a vegetarian you know no in, my in mom, all honesty my mom has been on this big kick she's like Are, maybe it's because he's a vegetarian why he's getting so many kidney stones <laughs> I'm like, it ah. probably is because God probably intends you to eat meat. Yeah, you know, that's, that's why, that's he, why he gave teeth. us canine teeth right that's, there. Absolutely, yep. That's a ripper, gripper, and ripper. No, in all seriousness, though, our hearts go out to DJ. We hope you feel better, make a fast recovery, man. We are thinking about you. Um, Woody can attest, the dude is hung like a mule. He does not have a <laughs> microphallus symbol. So it's uh, I, beer can thick is what he describes it. Right. My my favorite description was, uh, well, you were hammered one night, and you said something like, uh, I can't hit the bottom of a tuna can, but I'll scrape the sides. Yes. I, I've, I've been laughing about that, that for probably 10 years now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So before we get started into the, uh, into the podcast here today, our, our topic, let me tell you a little story about this. All right. Yesterday, my daughter, uh, they had a fundraiser at Chipotle. Okay. Okay. And it was for their school. They're like their student council or whatever. Like basically 50% of the proceeds uh, that Chipotle got that day, if you showed your flyer, you know, um, that, hey, we're here for, you know, the school, um, they would donate 50% of the proceeds to their student council thing. Nice little fundraiser. Plus, Chipotle is freaking delicious, right? Right. Um, So anyways... We're in line, and the store is packed because everybody loves Chipotle. Um, Everybody is out getting Chipotle at that time. We're in line. Her and I are joking. We're laughing, you know, passing the time. It's about a half hour into it, you know, and I'm one person from the counter, okay? Okay. So she turns to me and goes, Dad, 
you have the biggest nose hair hanging out of your nose that I've ever seen. And I'm like, ah! like literally. And, and I'm like, oh my God, which one? She goes, left nostril. And I go like this, and I can feel it, right? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh God. And so like, I'm, I'm stuck with, I've made eye contact with the clerk, right? Already. <laughs> she like looked up as she's, you know, spreading the, you know, rice into this burrito thing for this person in front of me. And I'm like, do I just grip it and rip it? Right. Or, right. or do I do like every other 40, 41 year old male, you just kind of do the wisp where you fold it in, try right. to fold it in. Right. Right. So I go to, I, I do the thing where I kind of itch my nose and I, I go, how's that, honey? Is it, does it look good? She goes, oh no, you got to shave that crap. <laughs> So, like, I literally made my entire Chipotle order while looking at the ground. So I couldn't make eye contact with this person. <laughs> she mind-fucked me so bad. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. I'd say, yeah, 40 sucks, man. Because, like, I go to get my hair cut now, and they shave my ears. Like, uh, God, that sucks. Well, I was talking about this at work today. I told him the story about that. And every freaking guy there, we're all about the same age. You know, this this pack of us, this wolf pack, you know. <laughs> right. And uh, they're all like, oh, yeah, man. It's, you know, it basically, you know, I, I have to trim my sideburns up. They wear their glasses so they can get their stuff right. Then they shave their ears and the inside of their ears and their and their eyebrows. I've got these two hairs on my on my eyebrows that I look like an owl. Like if I don't pull them out cuz I don't shave my eyebrows because when I got dropped on my face when I was younger, yeah. It like ripped it ripped the eyebrows out. So on the Oof. corner of my eyebrows on both sides, I don't have a lot of hair there. You know? Uh, yeah. And so I'm afraid to actually shave, you know, to trim them up because my grandma on my mother's side, you know, God rest her soul, she shaved her eyebrows when she was a kid cuz I guess it was like fashionable to draw them on. Yeah. And she was like 83 years old, still drawing those things on because they never grew back. So I don't know if I got, if I got her blood in me, you know, if I shave them off, they're never coming back. So, yeah. I mean, there are times that I look honestly like Hootsie the Owl, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, getting old sucks. It really, really it, does. But you know what, though, man? I mean, if you think about it, it's not that bad. I mean... Granted, you know, you wake up and stuff and you're sore. Do you, are you, like, when you get out of bed, do you feel like you've just been in a fight? No, like, I, we got that, um, that sleep number bed. And mm -hmm. once I dialed that motherfucker in, it took about two to three weeks to get it dialed in. But once I dialed that thing in, I am, I'm golden. The only problem I have is if, um, if the dog jumps up on the bed in the middle of the night and, because it's just an air mattress, it changes the whole weight distribution and everything. Or if the kid sneaks into the into the bed in the middle of the night, throws it all off, and then then I'll wake up with a sore back. But with with you no, know, barring that, I mm -hmm. wake up fantastic every morning. See, we used to have that just a normal queen size bed, and that was before my back surgery. So I was sleeping on on the couch. I've told that story before. Right. We ended up getting this, you know, adjustable memory foam the hybrid bed. The greatest bed I've ever seen in my life. Yes. It, it's magical. Well, the thing is now it's a king size. Yeah. That's so nice. I have no idea how anybody, first world problems right here. I'll, I'm yeah, just going to yeah. tell you, I have no idea how anybody sleeps on a queen size bed. No, no. You know, unless they're by themselves. I, no, that's the just, thing. Yeah, I, oh, I love that king size bed, man. It's the greatest thing we ever did. Oh, hands down, best thing ever. I mean, there's like room yeah. for days, you know. Room oh, yeah, for absolutely. days, you know. It's yep. it's it's good stuff. So, um, anything else going on with you this week? Oh, no, just just working, just driving, man. It's uh, done training. They had me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, I'm done training. That that kid's off on his own now. So, and he already. Good. Screwed up one of the trucks, I guess. Good for so, him. Good yeah, for him. I, whatever. What are you going to do? You can only teach him so much. That's it. You, you can lead a horse to water. Right, right. <laughs> one in Rome, you know? I don't know. I just like saying one in Rome. <laughs> and agree to disagree is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, we uh, 
going back to work, man, after two weeks off, that yeah. sucks. Dude, that sucks. I, I had hear you. 173 emails Holy on Monday. Shit. Wow. It was ridiculous. Wow. You don't, well, see, I, I always get my emails for work on my uh, my cell phone, so. I refuse to do it. Yeah. No. Nope. Well, see, I'm in the truck, though, you know, so that's like, that's the only way. And they're right. all about email right now, and I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm driving a fucking semi. I can't be checking my email while I'm driving, you know? But yeah. But that's all, they, they want a record of every bit of co- uh, communication, so. Yeah, and I mean, I, you know, as you know, I'm a photographer for a, uh, a a porn magazine. Right. So, I mean, all these girls working through nursing school and stuff constantly are sending emails, headshots and stuff <laughs> like that. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. All right. Well, so, when we found out that DJ was out this week, we scrapped our idea and we decided we'd go along with the show. And we decided we'd give a huge, like the whole show. Is we're paying homage to the podcasts that we love, right? Right. The it's the shows that got us into podcasting in the first place, you know. Just pretty uh, much, pretty much. And you know what? As the supreme leader of the Shuffle Pod, I will pass it off to you for the first one. Well, I tell you what, the, the first one I, sh- I I think I ever I th- what actually got me into podcasts because before podcasts I was. Uh, Listen to like audiobooks. I would take an actual a laptop with me in the truck, mm-hmm. and I'd well, plug it into the radio, and I'd listen to, to audiobooks and that. And uh, someone, I think I mean, I was talking to DJ or something, and uh, he'd mentioned something about bitcoins, and I'm like, "What the hell are bitcoins?" And he's like, "I don't really know, you know." And I'm like, "Well," so I went home and I did a search on it, and I, I found this uh, stuff you should know podcast. They did a, a thing on bitcoins. So good. Yeah, yeah, but see, the big problem with that with that was that show is so amazing that like everything else that I tried to find after that, I was like comparing to that show, and you, they're like you, the grandfathers of yeah. Podcasting. You can you cannot compare that as far as like a topical podcast, right? Where they take just a random topic, they're the best. There yeah. is nobody, honestly, there is nobody that does it better. Yeah. Um, the the way that those two interact, um, the personalities, you know, is 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 perfect. You know, it's it's. Do you would you say that they're the, like, you know, godfathers of podcasts? Honestly, or? yeah, I, yeah, I would. I mean, they, it's uh, Chuck and Josh. They're the guys that that do that. They're out of Atlanta. Uh, Discovery bought them for a while. Bought the uh, stuff you should know, but right, then they right. ended up selling them. Um, but like, yeah, so they've been around for uh, shit, I think a decade now or real close to it. I mean, um, and they just, they're, they're, they're funny and they're, yeah, but they stay on topic most of the time. I mean, it's just, and and you you can learn a lot from that show. I mean, it's just amazing. You you really do. And then the nice thing is, is you, you kind of got me into, into podcasts, um, just from, you know, talking to you when you were driving and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you're the one that kind of got me, you know, interested in podcasts. And the nice thing about it is if you listen to the radio, you know, it's it's for the, the mainstream and, and this and that. And even talk radio. Like, because I was, you know, I mean, you and I talked and, you know, when we were hanging out and stuff and... And I was like, I listen to sports radio all the time, you know, because I didn't like listening to the radio. I've got right. music that I love listening to, but I want to listen to it on my own terms, you know, right. that kind of thing. But so then when you get, you were like, well, you know, I listen to podcasts. And I think it was stuff you should know. You told me, hey, you got to check out stuff you should know. Yeah. And the nice thing about that is they picked like a subject and they can dedicate an hour, you know, uh, 40 right. minutes or whatever to that subject. And that, that, that was like, it was revolutionary. It was eye opening for me, you know, I mean, to, and it's, I rarely now turn the radio on. I, yeah, yeah. I constantly with my phone, 
I Bluetooth, you know, shit in my car all the time. And I'm addicted to it. I love podcasts. Yeah, you know, me uh, too. Because like you said, I mean, you can, your, your interest can be so specific, but there's going to be 20, 30 podcasts that are talking about what you want to talk about, what you want to hear about. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, you know, like, and, and off of stuff you should know, I found uh, stuff they don't want you to know. Fantastic. I am, yeah. Hum, I'm actually, okay. I like that show better than stuff you should know, but oh, yeah? I think I, yes, because they're, they kind of, they go into the tinfoil hat stuff, you know, a little right. bit more yeah. and I'm a closet, uh, conspiracy nerd, you know, so <laughs> right. I love stuff like that. But the way that those guys interact, each one of them have a unique personality. I think that whole How Stuff Works uh, umbrella is so good. I mean, stuff you missed in history class is great. Right. Yep. You know, stuff to blow your mind. Stuff to blow your mind. Yeah, that's a good one. It's it's usually a bit shorter than uh, than the other ones, but they're good. Yeah. They're, well, they, and they switched, they switched hosts, you know, like a year ago-ish. Right. Never missed a beat. Yeah. Those guys are so good. Now, okay, like uh genre specific, like what is your absolute favorite style of podcast to listen to? I I I love the conspiracy theory stuff. You know, like Yeah, me um, too. Yeah, I'm telling you. I've I've been listening to a lot of the conspiring to argue. It's uh JJ and 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 Theo. I, I those guys they, they Look at you me up. using his new name. Yeah, How yeah, great is yeah. That? yeah. Hey, I, hey, well, the way I look at it is if someone wants to change their name, who am I to argue with them, you know? You know what? I was hoping to God that I would remember to call him Theo. Yeah, yeah. Woody, I'm going to tell you right now, I want to do a show with them really, really bad. I agree. I, I like I like how they interact with each other. Um, you know, they've They're got freaking a, awesome. They, I, I, what, what impressed me with those guys is... Uh, they were really young when that O.J. Simpson stuff was going on. I mean, you got to figure we were in our. I was in my early twenties. You guys were probably just yep. twenty or eighteen, nineteen years old. So, I mean, you have pretty good memory of that. What was going on that time? These guys were one, two, three years old. You know, they were babies at the time, but they still covered the hell out of that. Uh, that topic. they did a phenomenal job, and like. You know, um, we've, you know, we've talked on Twitter and, you know, instant messages and stuff like that. And they said they really, you know, they mentioned it on their podcast when we did our OJ thing with when DJ had his alternate theory, you know, and stuff. Yeah. They like, they paid, you know, they were like, hey, these guys on the shuffle pod did a good job for this. Dude, they dug up so much stuff on theirs. Actually, if nobody's ever listened to that Conspiring to Argue, you have to sign up and listen to their stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It is so freaking good. I, every single week, there's like, I listen to so many podcasts, but theirs is one that is in my constant 100% rotation. We yep. have to do a show with them because I really, really like them. And I wish like Ohio and Iowa were basically like, whoop, like right next to each other and stuff, because I would want to get together and drink beers with those guys or yeah. rum and cokes, like rum they like cokes, to drink yep. the rum and cokes out of a skull glass, and I would do that. <laughs> um, but they're really, really two good guys, man. They seem to you know be good family people and stuff. They tell a good story, and they argue great. I think yeah. a lot of their chemistry. If you like our show, you know, as far as chemistry wise, you're gonna like their show. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And it's they're they're awesome. Uh, yeah, they're not afraid to call bullshit on each other. You know, like kind of like the three of us. You know, just... exactly, exactly, dude. Act, they're they're my favorite up and coming podcast. Like, right? You know, there's there's ones I listen to like Joe Rogan and stuff like that that are just the giants of of the podcast community. They're my they are by far my favorite up and coming podcast, you know, and they were so nice to us when we were, you know, switching from uh, yeah. SoundCloud to, to Podbean, you know, they took the time out to let us know and stuff. So I'd like to, any time that I can throw those guys a bone, it's, it's just badass. They're really, really good. And all their shows are, are freaking awesome. I'm not to sound like a creeper, but I'll put them on at night when I'm lying there to, you know, Laying down, you know, and winding out my night and, you know, basically going to bed and stuff. That used to be your uh, Stuff You Should Know time. I, I remember yep. you used to fall asleep to Stuff You Should Know. 
Yeah, they replace yeah. they replace stuff you should know. And what I do then, because I like to pad their numbers, uh, is <laughs> when I know I fell asleep, I'll remember the, like the last thing that I yeah. heard. Like, and then when I'm driving to work, I will put them on from that point on, approximate, and listen to the rest of the show. So they're a really, really, really good, good podcast. Um, I'll tell you another uh, like kind of conspiracy theory ish podcast that I, I've gotten into is uh, Astonishing Legends. Have great, you heard that yet? Great. Yes, you got me turned on to that. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they go deep, deep into these topics. It makes me realize how much we don't research. Like, <laughs> yeah, you absolutely. know what I mean? But like, but that's our thing. Like, we take a shallow dive. So we're kind of giving you the everyman's kind of opinion on, on what's going on. But we're, uh, leading, yeah. we're leading you to the water. You know, right, right. Like Absolutely. basically, we're we're the Griswolds driving our kids to Wally World. We get to the parking <laughs> lot. There it is. If you want to dive a little farther, if you want to ride the roller coaster, go when they're open. You know, it's one of those things. <laughs> yeah, but Astonishing Legends. They, uh, I mean, they'll they'll take three or four episodes, like in two hour long episodes, to go over a topic, kind of hit every angle, talk to experts. They've got, a, but they've got like a research core of, of people that like do research for them and help them out with it and that. Yeah. So I mean, we're we're definitely not there yet, but we're no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> but they're good. And um, do you ha, have you listened to True Crime Garage? Yes, I caught a couple episodes of that. I I did. Oh. I put it in. It hasn't gotten into the rotation yet, but get it into the fucking rotation. I'm yeah. telling you right now. I, here's the thing. If you if you listen to it and you you listen to one episode, just allow yourself to go to the next one or part two of their thing. You will be sucked in. It's like it's like a drug. They're in my eyes right now. They're the crystal meth of of the podcast community, where they just you know like you take that one hit and then you're like hooked, right? <laughs> and, and so basically, it's they are so freaking good, and they're from Ohio, actually. Are they? I, yeah. I, I didn't know that. They're now, from uh, Columbus area, I believe. Okay. The one that you got me into was that last podcast on the left. <laughs> the I, greatest, I, greatest thing I've ever... They are... They're look, hilarious. They can talk about any subject, and I, la- and I feel like a fucking horrible person. Like, I was picking yeah. my daughter up. I was listening to the Norwegian death metal one, okay? Okay. And I was picking my daughter up at school, and I had it, like, pretty loud in my car, because... I listen to stuff loud all the time, hence why my ears ring constantly. But <laughs> I had to actually turn it down because they were going into this whole thing about talking about the Swedish death metal. And they were they the way that they do it is freaking hilarious. And they're really, really, really informed about the topic that they do. Yeah, I think it's I think it's unbelievable The um, true crime garage and uh, last podcast on the left. And conspiring to argue are the three that I listen to constantly. Th- okay. Those are the ones that I that I listen to. Um, the yeah, stuff been... they don't want you to know, big time. You know, right. uh, I, I listen to that. Like I have like the Nerdist and, and uh, Comedy right. Bang Bang on my stuff, but I never I never listen to them. Now, see, I have a lot more time to listen because I listen while I'm driving in the truck. So, yeah. I mean, I have you know good. Out of a 14-hour day, I'm listening at least eight hours. The rest of it, I'm talking to DJ. But, um, yeah. you know, but, uh, yeah, like, so I've been going back and listening to a lot of, the, like, the older last podcasts on the left, and they're they're cracking me up. They're absolutely cracking me up. How about the, uh, have you ever listened to the Higher Side Chats? No. If you like conspiracy stuff, the Higher Side Chats are really, really good. Um, he is a, uh, if you like Coast to Coast AM... Yes. It's a little bit of a bolder, more liberal version of, <laughs> I can't of Coast to Coast that, AM. Because there was some crazy ass shit on Coast to Coast. Well, he's got, uh, he's, they describe it as a more mellow Alex Jones type thing. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And they're really, really good. Um, he's, uh, he has a wide range of topics. Uh, so that's something you might want to actually start listening to. I mean, I listen, like, I love Joe Rogan. Yeah. Joe Rogan is freaking awesome. Three-hour show is, oof. And I'll play that at work. 
Yeah. And I'll just let it kind of play quietly, you know. Um, and off of that, I started listening to Joey Diaz's podcast. Then I listened to Brendan Schaub's Big Brown Breakdown. And also because I loved him as a fighter. Well, you know, he's got a great podcast off, you know, and he's friends with Joe Rogan. But then I also listened to The Fighter and the Kid, which is a great podcast. They're they're hilarious. I was actually walking in the park. I was walking my dog in the park, and I was listening to the fighter and the kid. Yeah, and it's uh, it's there was an episode. I had headphones on, okay, and it's Brian Callen and and Brendan Schaub, and Brian Callen is freaking hilarious. And he was talking about hit one of his shticks is, and he's a comedian also. Okay, okay, one of his shticks is. He's the fighter in The Fighter and the Kid, okay? Okay. So, like, he'll go on to this, like, yeah, man, I was, you know, walking down the street, and I saw this girl, you know, getting uh, harassed, and I was like, hey, motherfucker. And he talks about how he's getting in a fight with this guy. And you know it's complete <laughs> bullshit, but it's like, they're from the West Coast. They're, they're all Los Angeles, California, you know, Hollywood and stuff. Right. And I was laughing my fucking ass. like I literally literally had to take the earbuds out of my ears because I was like <laughs> I really think that people are going to think I'm a crazy man walking a pit bull in the yep. park you know and and basically they're phenomenal I so if you listen to that now the UFO stuff um do you ever listen to the uh podcast UFO with Martin Willis no that dude is crazier than shit really oh yeah he's been on coast to coast and whatnot. Um, and, and, uh, he's got a bunch of like guests on and, and stuff. He's pretty good if you like UFO stuff. So you anyways, I, I, well, when I, when I just recently found, um, it's called ear hustle. Have you heard of this one yet? No, it's, they're making it out of San Quentin jail or prison, I guess. Uh, it's, um, one of the inmates and, um, like an, uh, lady who's in there for kind of like an art director, media kind of thing and um they just talk about what it's what it's like being locked up in san quentin and like um like all things from like getting letters to to you know having uh, conjugal visits and you know just what it's like for for guys that are like three strike rule non-violent offenders but they've got life in prison sentences you can and, see i'm pulling it up right now yeah and i am subscribing to it's it. fantastic it's only about a 30 minute each week or uh, I'm not even sure yeah. if it is every week, but uh, yeah, and it's all got to get like approved through the, the 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 guards at the prison and stuff like that. Uh, but it's it's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I I just I'm fascinated with people that like have life sentences in prison about how they handle it and shit like that. Sure, just the mental. Well, do you listen to any true crime podcasts and stuff? No, I. You know what? <sighs> I tried to listen to that one that uh, my favorite murder, and it's these two ladies, yeah, and no. it's getting real popular. But I can't take it. It's they're like, oh, he's my favorite killer, and I'm like, what? How the fuck can you right. say that? I got I got a couple for you that you need to listen. All right, All right. Generation Y. Okay, Generation Y is absolutely phenomenal. They take like uh, one, you know, like mass shooter, mass murder, that type thing, and they talk about them, you know, like, or, or you know, like a, a murder victim and whatnot. They're phenomenal. They are so good. They're out of, like, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Very, very good. It's safe for work. You can listen to it, you know, if, like, you're working in the office and you don't want people talking about, you know, dicks and stuff like right, that. Right, right. They're really, really, really good. And True, cri true Crime Guys is a really... Uh, awesome one too it's got lauren and michael uh the two hosts they are absolutely phenomenal huh phenomenal um unsolved murders is pretty good um for podcasts and stuff but dude i listen to a lot of guitar podcasts yeah. so i'm going to take like a minute and tell like the musicians the guitarists uh they need to definitely listen to 60 cycle hum they're great. They're based out of California. They got a great YouTube page, too. All right? They're phenomenal. Chasing Tone, which is Brian Wampler. Brian Wampler actually um, is out of Indiana right now. Um, he makes some of the best guitar pedals 
in the world. Uh, and then, so yeah, he's incredible. Um, and then, so like if you're listening to Amps and Axes, it's all about <laughs> guitar amps and guitar axes. The Gear Slum podcast is great. The uh, Guitar Knobs podcast. Dude, I'm telling that, you, that's, you're absolutely right. Any yeah. topic that you want, man. Any topic. Like, um, my kid's really into this. Uh, uh, actually, me and my kid's really into this uh, uh, cartoon. It's called Steven Universe. And okay. there's probably three different podcasts that I listen to just just about that dumb cartoon. You know? There's a podcast on Hulk Hogan. It's called What You Gonna Do. <laughs> and those guys are awesome. I talk to them in messaging on Twitter. And their podcast is phenomenal. I, I, I let me. Okay, have you have you gotten into Mike Rose's podcast yet? His new no. podcast. He's got a, a. It's a really short five to ten minute podcast, and it's like once a week. And it's the way I heard it with Mike Rowe. and it's a lot like that. I um, saw it. Paul yeah. Harvey. This is the rest of the story kind of thing. It's all. It's, it's kind of set up like that, where like. He'll talk about it, whatever the thing is, and then at the end, you'll find out, like, you know, the real, who he's really talking about, you know? I'm going to tell you what. That guy is probably one of the most underrated Hollywood TV stars. Yeah. You know, he's an opera singer. Yeah, he was an opera singer, but he also worked on QVC, like, yeah. late night selling uh, shit over the, you know, over the television. I mean... The man is an absolute genius, and his Dirty Jobs yeah. uh, series is just a shtick. He took the job just to take it. Yeah. You know? And I, it's it's unbelievable. I, I It's unreal. I mean, you just... All the voiceover, like, he does all that, um, those, uh, like, Deadliest Catch and Ice Road Truckers yes, and absolutely. all those Discovery shows. As a yeah. as a narr I wanna I would want to know what that guy's net worth is because he's gotta be worth a freaking fortune. I'm sure he is. He's got he's got like a foundation, like a micro works foundation. It's all about getting uh, people trained for like physical jobs, you know, like mechanics and, and things like that where you gotta use your hands. Yeah, that's one of my favorite shows. It's real quick though, it's real short. I read an article on him. Um I read an article on him that came up on God, I think it came in my Google News feed. Um, so I clicked on it and I was reading it. It was him writing an apology article slash letter to James Hetfield from Metallica. Really? He said, I was sitting at a cat like a, a restaurant and this six foot four tattooed <laughs> up looking dude walks up to him and was like, hey, you're Mike Rowe. And he's like, yeah. And... uh you know, he's talking to him for a minute, and he's just being cordial. Like like I imagine a lot of, right, you know, yeah. people are that get come up and go, hey, you're Woody, you know? Right. And uh, he's like, uh, he's like, so, you know, Mike asks him, so what do you do? He goes, well, I, you know, I, I'm a front man for a band. And he goes, <laughs> oh, he goes, uh, would I know the band? And. At that time, James Hetfield realized that <laughs> Mike Rowe doesn't know who the hell he is. He's That's like, fantastic. He goes, um, yeah, probably. Uh, you know, uh, I cut my hair a long time ago, uh, you know, and so maybe it's, uh, you know, I got short hair now. And he said, this guy was really, really nice. And then as soon as he left, Mike Rowe was like, good. Damn it! That's the lead singer of Metallica, you know. And so he wrote this whole article, like going, "I am sorry that I'm a douche. That I, you know, I was taken off guard. I didn't realize that the guy from Metallica would actually come up and talk to me, you know, and stuff." Right. So that was really cool. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's he's good. Let me tell you one thing: it pisses me off about uh, certain podcasts. Okay. I am a huge. Huge Coast to Coast AM fan, okay? Yeah. But now that I work day shift, I can't stay up till six in the morning and listen to them. Right. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if they have a podcast. I did right? the same thing. Yep. They give you ten minutes because they want you to be a Coast to Coast insider, okay? Right. Am I am I wrong for being pissed off of the fact that 
for something that I can get for free if I stay up till six in the morning and listen to, I shouldn't have to pay for the thing. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's bullshit. I, because and George uh, Nori is look. Art Bell was like, oh yeah, yeah, the best. Like that guy could that guy could tell a story and string together something that would just make you either fucking terrified to fall asleep, right, or right. just completely <laughs> like. Holy shit! I got to tell my friends about that. You know, yeah. it was it was unbelievable. And George Nori is really really good. Yeah. But in my opinion, in my humble opinion, he's kind of riding the coattails of what Art Bell created. Okay. 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 Yeah. And there and yes, he's kind of crazy because I think he saw Jesus in a piece of toast. Is one of the <laughs> things he saw, but. Why? Why do? Why would you charge me? Exactly, yeah, they're gonna get revenue from ads, not only exactly. on the AM as they play it, but but cut those those ads out and put in different ads for the podcast, and then get revenue off the downloads of the podcast. There and, you go. And, you know, don't don't try and make people spend a bunch of money. I mean, it's it's a free media. You know, podcasting it. That's kind of the way it is. Like, yeah, if you want to donate to a show, you really like to help them out or whatever. But that's not the point of it. The point is, is it's it's supposed to be free. It's supposed to be, you know. All right. Well, this kind of gets me into my next question. Okay. Okay. And I had no idea you were going to answer it that way. Um, if you could flash forward to, do we want to arbitrarily say five or ten years down the road? Let's say five. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. In five years, with as huge and as awesome as podcasting is right now, okay, mm -hmm. we have a podcast. Pretty much everybody has the ability to have a podcast, okay? Right. And you're going to have a certain built-in audience no matter what, all right? Right. Where does podcasting go in the next five years? It's just going to get bigger and bigger. The more connected our devices are so the more um once you can just stream unlimited and it's and you, you have no problem you know with with how much data you use and things like that and where you are to use it it's gonna be it's gonna take over the radio in the car you know you're you're just gonna you're gonna have your car's gonna download your podcast for you instead of your phone you know or your phone will just sync right up to your your car like it kind of does now I, I can just, once people start to understand how, like, personalized this stuff is, how there's, like, no matter what you're into, it's kind of like the internet, you know? Like, people, at first, it was like, okay, okay, I got the internet, now what do I do with it? It's like, well, whatever you want, you know, wh whatever you're into, there's a website out there for that. And See, I think that people are going to start to realize that podcasts are just like that, and they're going to start... You know, like it's just going to explode. The my issue with it is, um, I think the big networks are going to stick their hands into this. So NBC, CBS, they're going to have their podcasts of their comedians and and things like that. Sure, and it's, sure. It's going to get real. You know, it's 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 going to get harder and harder to find an audience because the bigger corporations are going to be getting involved. See, I, okay. You know, we both know my brother has has and was in radio for, well, at one time he was the youngest DJ in the state of Ohio. Yeah. Okay. So as I long mean, as I've known him, he's been on the radio. Yeah. I mean, we've, you know, we lived right down the road from a, a rock station in Canton, Ohio, and he walked up and said, I'd like to intern and they gave him a job and literally i don't know how the hell he did it he's just he's he's good at well no he's good at what he does is yeah. what it is talking and <laughs> and yes and he's he's compelling he can yeah. he can read you the back of a cereal box and you're just like huh you know <laughs> and so i mean he had his own overnight shift you know uh, while he was in high school and stuff and you know and this this stuff and i had a talk with him and uh Actually, numerous talks, not even just one talk. You know, we've talked numerous times about radio and, and the, the medium of radio. And he told me, he said, look, 
radio will taper off. It'll it'll compress down and it'll be a smaller conglomerate, but it'll never actually go away because there is always people that just want to click the the dial on their radio to turn it on. There's a sense of comfort, okay? As long as people okay. are making music, as long as people have something to talk about, as long as you know, you have if you listen to sports radio like I did, as long as you have a passion for something, you can turn on because there is like, like there's, I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, there's always a a familiar familiar familiarity. Am I saying that right? Yeah, familiarity. Yeah, uh, with if I want to listen, you know, I, look, I'm a huge Cleveland fan. Okay, the Browns suck. <laughs> so during football season and after football season, you know, we're either talking about the draft or how bad the Browns are. And and stuff like that. So on local sports radio, I'm always going to have a topic. That instant gratification of listening to somebody else going, I fell off my couch and bit my carpet because the Browns, you know, <laughs> suck, you know, or whatever. But, like, as far as, like, baseball and basketball, whatever you're interested in, as far as sports goes, as long as you have something in your area, you're always going to have that intimacy of a group of people that are going to talk about that. Right. As long as somebody is making top 40 pop music, and the reason it's pop music is it's popular music, you're going to have radio. And I think the best thing that to come out is for entertainment, for, the, for, your, for your entertainment dollar, is podcasts. Because if you think about it, what else can you do that costs you virtually nothing? But whatever you're interested in, you can find something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, people cut cable all the time or cut satellite and all this stuff because they don't want to pay for it. You don't have to pay for YouTube as long as you want to watch the, you know, as long as you want to watch the commercials. People are going to put out content on YouTube and you don't have to pay for podcasts. Right. For the vast majority. Now, granted, Patreon has kind of changed the the ground rules with that. Like we'll give you free stuff, but if you want our premium episodes, you know, you go to Patreon and stuff like that. And, and so that's, that's kind of cool um, in a way too. And that's, that's something that I could see getting bigger and bigger, you know, as we go on. But there is a stopping point with that too, because people's entertainment dollar only goes so far. And, right. you know, um, I mean, We've even seen that with with our Patreon people, yeah. you know. There are a group of people that love the show, are interested in it and stuff, and, and help us out in more ways than they know, you know, by doing that. But the vast majority of the stuff we do, we do for free and put it out there. And, you know, because we enjoy it. You know, yeah. we'd be sitting around talking about aliens or, you know, uh, beer or whatever, Right, we've always had these conversations. It's just we decided to record them because that you know people like to hear them. You know, I mean, some of our friends have moved away and are like, "Man, I miss sitting out and you know drinking on the back patio with you and talking yep. about this stuff." So we're like, you know what? Let's just throw it up there. But so yeah, absolutely. The, the, our, the, our patrons that do support us, it, it helps out a lot. It, it really does. Um, you know, there's some minimal cost to, to us to do this, but, you know, we do it out of love. I, I love it. It's, it's yeah, one of my... Yeah, I look forward to it every single week. Yeah. You know? Okay, so, we've kind of gone, you know, on the uh, where it's going to be in five years, and you know what? I agree with you, and let me ask you this. I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Okay. Excluding the shuffle pod. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. If you could only listen to five podcasts for the rest of your life... What would they be? All right. Ooh. The dollop is is definitely in there. Uh, that's They're that hilarious. American History podcast. Fucking crack me up. Whenever I get tired in the truck, I throw them on because I know they're. I'm just going to start laughing my ass off, you know? I can't listen to them at work because I laugh the entire time yeah. and I look like a crazy man at work. Um, Lore is another one. Man, that's a good show. Aaron My Mankey. daughter loves, loves lore. Yeah, that's a and good, good show. Bones. She loves Sawbones, too. Sawbones is, yeah, that's a, that's a McElroy show. They, uh, the guys, it was uh, three guys, uh, three brothers, uh, Justin, Travis, and uh, 
Griffin, they do, they just basically kind of like what we do, but they do like an advice kind of show. And, um, yeah, they're also like up there in the godfathers of, uh, podcasting. I mean, yeah, they had, big they had time. A TV show made about, about their podcast. And yeah, it's pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have a whole huge family of shows. Uh, it was like, uh, Sawbones is, is Justin and his wife, uh, Sydney. She's um, awesome. Oh yeah. Dude, she carries that show so good. I love <laughs> Justin, but she yeah. is she is awesome. Like if I had a problem, I would go to her as a doctor. She's right, incredible. She, very sounds like like she like she'd be very easy to talk to. Yeah. A, a little bedside manner other than you know, like my doctor screaming at me like, Well, if your balls hurt, stop wearing boxers. You know, it's one of those <laughs> right, things. You know? Right, right. It's you're you're old. They sag, you know, so <laughs> I think my biggest problem with podcast, like uh, with podcasts, is like every once in a while, I, I listen to a lot of like NPR podcasts and that. Like, so I'll listen to like um, I don't know if This American Life is an NPR, but it's kind of like that. Um, and they'll get yeah. into these just heart wrenching stories about people with cancer or, or or whatever. And I'll be driving down the road just tearing up, you know. And I'm like, Good God! Well, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Speaking of. This American Life cereal. I know I'm getting off track yeah. here because I asked you about your five, but cereal that first season yeah. was the greatest season of podcasting I have ever heard in my life. Yeah, absolutely. I've listened to it four times. Four, yeah. you know, and that's all the way through. It yeah. is unbelievable. Uh, it, it really is. I mean, I, I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm convinced that guy is innocent. I mean, just absolutely convinced. Uh, but you know but then again, I listened to the um We'll do a show on it. We'll right, do yeah, a show we'll on do a show it, on okay? It. All right. Because, yes, I listen to Undisclosed also. Okay. Oh, do you? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, where was I? Oh, there's right. a... I think, I, I think I had like three of them. So, the, a, a show that DJ and I kind of geek out on a lot is called uh, The Greatest Generation. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, two guys talking about Star Trek: The Next Generation. But you don't even like Star Trek. I no, I do. I like them both. You but just I like, like it because your like, boy toy loves no. Star Trek. I've watched, he's like he's like call me Data, you know <laughs> Data, Data um, or whatever the hell his name is. I love both Star Wars and Star Trek. Star Wars is still my top favorite, but I was I was big into Star Trek: Next Generation. Is it your top or is it your top top? Top top. Star. There you Star go. Wars, good boy. Top, good top. boy. But. Uh, yeah, I like I, I I do I like that uh, Greatest Generation. Those guys are pretty funny. But what about you? What would be your top five? All right, top five: Joe Rogan Experience. Okay. Hmm. Stuff they don't want you to know. Okay. Sixty Cycle Hum. Is that it every week? It's it's pretty close. Yeah. Okay. And they've got video stuff and like I I can't tell you how many hours I've wasted on this shitter with my legs just going completely <laughs> pasty and numb by watching gear videos by them. They're incredible. <laughs> Conspiring to argue. Yeah, they're good. I freaking love them. Yeah. And then the last podcast on the left. Those are my five. Those are your uh, deserted island and yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I love I think I might have to sneak stuff you should know in there too on mine. I just uh... See, there's the thing. I should have said ten because, yeah. like, yeah, it's there's hard. like a it's hard. there's a five, a five A, a five B, a five A A A, a five B, a five C. You know, there's all that stuff. But I think what we found out just by shooting the shit about podcasts is there is so many things out there. There is so much free, yeah, entertainment that is at people's disposal that maybe they don't. I mean, okay, look, I'm going to make a statement, and nobody that listens to podcasts isn't going to know this, so it isn't going to help anybody, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Everybody talks about the price of things, right? Yeah. Where else can you go for your entertainment dollar at zero and get that freaking entertained, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, let me ask you this. For anybody that wants to start a podcast, yeah. okay, and we're, what, a year into this? Yeah, just over a year. Now, granted, I have an audio background. Okay. Right. From just recording and stuff. But let's explain to people that if you want to do a podcast, it's not that goddamn hard. No. You no. know, as I, far as getting started. Right. Like I said, I had been listening to a couple of them. When I first brought it up to DJ, he's like, oh, man, we're going to have to figure out how to do this. And I had talked to Jeff, and he had to um, 
Jeff is the guy that uh, that did our logo for us. He um, he had to uh, uh, do like one for a school project kind of thing in college, and so he was like, you know, oh yeah, just use Audacity and you know mic each other and you know everybody mic themselves and kind of stick them together and you know it was uh, and it was a lot. We did a couple tests before we even talked to you. We, we DJ and I kind of did a couple tests over the Skype and that together and. Uh, you know, it's just it's it's a lot easier than it looks. It really is. It is. I mean, like, I I haven't narrowed down to anybody that wants to start a podcast can do it for fifty dollars or less. Okay. Um, yeah. Because if you go on Amazon and you look at mixers and stuff like that, like if you have a computer, this is barring if you already have. You know what? Screw it. You don't even need a computer anymore. When we went to Podbean. Yeah. Right. You could talk into your phone and record it directly onto the Podbean server. But as far as like if you want to set it up, you got a couple buddies and you want to do this, okay? You can get yourself a stereo field recorder um and just record you and your buddies talking. Or if you're doing it the way that kind of like we do it, we've noticed that Google um Hangouts is yeah. a little better than Skype. Right. There's less bug issues and stuff like that, crash, less crashes and whatnot. That's a free service. Audacity is a free service. Um, you know, and then as long as you have a USB mixer right, um, or just a USB mic, okay? If you buy a USB mic. I bought my son a little, I did a little setup for my son where I bought him a, a high definition camera, USB, um, a USB mic with the uh, the scissoring stand. The shock mount and <laughs> he um, said scissors <laughs> and the uh, pop filter, and it was under thirty dollars for that, and then like ten dollars for the camera. I bought him the uh, uh, two sets of these uh, Behringer headphones, and yep. I think these were like twenty bucks a piece, you know. And and that was so that like he you know, we could kind of sit next to each other and do a little video podcast, just the two of us. Um. <laughs> But yeah, like I bought all the, did a whole setup, and I think it, I think it was totaled seventy bucks. You know? All right, so literally for anywhere from fifty to seventy dollars. Listen, if you guys are listening and you want to do a podcast, do a freaking podcast. Yeah, you know, and ultimately, like as far as our show goes, let me ask you this: Let's flash forward five years down the road. Okay, what do you want our show to be? Do you want, like, a network, or, or what are we looking at? Uh, you know what? I'd love to see that. I'd love to see, um, you know, like, like you got that uh, three beers in. I love that that's, you know, that's another project uh, that you know, we could throw on the website. And, you know, um, I know DJ and I will never try and do a show without you. <laughs> because we just, we just we just don't feel like we got it. You know, with, uh, we, we think you're the you know, kind of... The glue that holds us all together, but uh No, it's actually though, if you guys think about it, it's it's all three. There there is because okay. because you and DJ have this <clears throat> and I'm using air quotes special relationship. That's so funny you say that things. My my oldest brother had uh his fiftieth birthday last week well last weekend and mm -hmm. one of the guys he works with came in, he's a big shovel pod fan, and he said something about how DJ and I have a special relationship. Oh yeah, no, it's and my I've wife never still met the talks guy about. <laughs> my wife still talks about how she could just mention his name, and you would giggle and go, "He's so funny." It's, it's okay. From like, so are you leaning towards like the network side of it? I, I'd love to see that. I mean, I'd love to see a uh, girl like that. I just you know, I just I, you know what? If if anything, I, I just want to make sure we're still doing it. Uh, this is my favorite time of the week is when we record the shows. I, you know, like I don't live, I, I mean, I'm, I'm only 20, 30 minutes away from you guys right now, but it's still, you know, you guys work full, you know, full-time jobs. I work full-time job. We don't get to see each other. Like, you know, nah, not like we used to, you know, freaking kids ruin everything. <laughs> right. Right. No, it's, it's cool. And that's ultimately, I think where I'd like to see it is, you know, at least at a at a bare minimum, we're still doing it. But I would love to do a network, and I would love yeah. to, you know, because I want to be able to network with people to build each other's podcasts and stuff. And I think that's like a thing that we need to sit down and talk to the a couple of the podcasts that we talk with 
and stuff and just kind of sit down and go, how can we build each other up, you know, right. without without even just sharing each other's shows on Twitter and stuff like that. But it's a really unique community, and it's like something that I had no idea about um, before we started doing this. Like, there are, granted, there are people that are very close to the vest, and they're very, yeah. I'm going to use the word cautious of how they tell you to, to help you. They're, you know. But then there are people literally, like, the guys from Conspiring to Argue. I mean, I, I got kind of a man crush on them. They are, they're phenomenal. You know, they took the time to to let us know. Hey, listen, you go to Podbean, it's going to be great. You know, and this and that. Yeah, so, I was really having a hell of a hard time trying to decide like where I wanted to, you know, host the show because with that whole, I'm like, I just, I didn't want to leave SoundCloud. I was so worried about it. Sure. And, you know, and and. Uh, just talking to those guys over there and, and you know and reading your messages back and forth that you had with them and stuff i was like ah, okay i feel a little bit better you know and uh, yep. it was the best decision i think we ever made was, yeah uh, and i mean for god's sakes i talked to people in england you know yeah yeah and and when in the hell else am i going to talk to anybody in england you know i mean it's basically you know we're in canton ohio for god's sakes you know and to be able to reach out and talk to people and stuff. So I don't know, man. This is, it's been an absolute blast of a year. Yeah. Um, I like, like, listening to our old shows and going, hey, we kind of got a little better, you know? Yeah. Uh, on stuff. And, <laughs> sometimes. And, uh, <laughs> sometimes. It, it depends, you know? But uh, I don't know, man. You got any parting, parting thoughts before we wrap this bitch up? No, I think that's it. I mean, I kind of went over all the ones I really, I'm really into. Uh, you know, just uh, just to say that, uh, you know, feel free to let us know what podcasts you listen to. Um, you know, send them our way. E- give us, send us emails. Tell us what you guys like. You know, the shows you like. I'm always looking for something new to listen to. Like I said, I've got hours and hours every day. I, I go through absolutely, and we're always looking to trade uh, promos with other podcasts. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys want your podcast advertised on our podcast and vice versa. You know, we'd love to do that is, you know, so just hit us up and actually let them know how they can get a hold of us. All right. Right at the, uh, the shufflepod.com. You can you know, email us from there. You can uh, send us a, a tweet, Facebook us, whatever you want to do. Anyway, you're getting a hold of us. There's also our, our Patreon buttons on there. It'll take us right to, take you right to our Patreon page. And uh, for as little as a quarter a show, you guys can help support us. Yeah. And once again, thank you to our Patreons. Uh, yes, for helping definitely. us out and stuff. And thank you for everybody that transitioned uh, with us to Podbean. Um, I know it was, you know, people weren't getting shows and stuff for the first couple of weeks. but Or they got numbers... every show re-downloaded to their, their system. Yeah. And Sorry there's, you know, I, I really appreciate, honestly, all of us really appreciate um, that every week you guys take time out of your day to listen to us. And that's awesome, and that's what keeps us doing it. So, you know what? I'm going to say it. Until next week, everybody have a great one, uh, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. All right. I miss you, DJ. Yeah, I I know you do, you (laughs) poor bastard. All right. right. Talk to you later. Take care, bud. Bye-bye. Bye.